Day was stolen. Give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. If you're dealing with me, there's only one thing to remember. Pay your debts or end up hurt. Take that swill and pour it down a well. <laughs> Not on your life. I'd have to be truly desperate to do that. All right, then. I don't know what you did in those mines, but it put a smile on Cretius's face. Never seen him so happy. Me? I hardly think so. That Telvanni wizard is unhinged. I heard he tries to drink the ash. Be careful out there. Care for anything from my stand. I don't know who sent you here, but you've given us something to build on here. I hope someday we can repay you for your kindness. I should mix some of this into my next potion. Who knows what would happen? Not on your life. I'd sooner try to swim back to Windhelm. Stay that way. Be better. After we left Morrowind, we found ourselves in Skyrim. We wandered around a bit and ended up in Morthong, where we took up temporary residence with Lami, the town's alchemist. I was fascinated by her work, and over a period of a few years, she taught me quite a bit. It wasn't long before we became homesick. We were the only Dunmer in Morthong. When word reached us that a settlement of Dunmer was forming on Solstein, we were thrilled. It's been difficult, but I'm not regretting it one bit. In fact, I'm glad we've been able to stay in here. As you can imagine, the eruption of the Red Mountain took an awful toll on Solstein. Hunting for game has been scarce, and the waters are apparently too tainted for fishing. According to Councillor Morvain, my husband's been Raven Rock's most important food source for decades. Yes, I'm proud to say that I grow or harvest most of it myself. I only wish I had a better source for Netch Jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond the bulwark. That would be splendid. I'd be more than happy to give you something for the effort. Careful with those matches. They may look tame, and the but seriously hurt or threaten. If you're looking for any exotic ingredients, just ask. I might have what you need. Goodness, it must have been quite difficult tracking those creatures down out there. Here, take these. They should help you during your journeys. The mines are open and the shop is busy again. Thank you. My father needs me. He can't run his market stand alone. Besides, Neloth is loony, a schooner addict. He wanted my father to import a white mammoth alive. You could try Drovers Relvy. He came in here asking my father if he needed any odd jobs done. Seemed kind of desperate. Keep yourself safe. Your actions here have been a blessing to us all, Sergio. And leave my farm? No thank you. The Dunmer have been growing food in the Ashlands for thousands of years. 
It was born out of the necessity to survive in the harsh climate of our homeland. And now, with the constant eruptions of the Red Mountain, it's more important than ever. No, only the Tilvani have the ability to weave living growth from the ash. This simply takes the right ingredients, the right tools, and a lot of patience. If you've got something to sell, I'm willing to buy. Why don't we see what kind of deal we can make? Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always have I don't know what you did yourself. in those mines, but it put a If smile you're looking to purchase so something, much hope to speak to my sauce, I'll have this. Be careful. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. It's an amulet that was made exclusively for the East Empire Company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point. A kind of reward for extra effort. They're no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get my hands on a few of them. Well, well. Seems you're proving fairly useful for an outlander. Here's your coin. Keep bringing me more, and I'll keep paying you for them. Things are picking up for now. All I'm wondering is how long it'll take for House Redoran to begin ignoring us again if the mine runs out of ore for a second time. Don't be ridiculous. Who would run this place? Ask around at the wretched Netch. Someone there might be crazy enough, or drunk enough, to do it. Bad? What if I told you that you're the first person that's even considered looking at my wares today? I've half a mind to contact my friends at the East Empire Company and see if they need an extra hand in Windhelm. Oh, absolutely. In fact, I've corresponded with Vittoria Vici herself more than once. You know, the lady who runs the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude. The biggest warehouse they have in Skyrim. Bah! You're just like the rest of the folks around here. Mark my words. The East Empire Company will return to Ravenrock, and when they do, I'll be at the top of the list. The question you should be asking is, what don't I sell here? Because I have pretty much any supplies you might need. If it's not a weapon, potion, or armor, then it's likely to talent. Jarland, over at the docks, brings me most of my supplies. The rest comes from bartering with the people in town. Oh. Glover Mallory gets me a few things once in a while. He usually has the most amazing deals that I can't pass up. Take a look. East Empire pendants are scattered all over, so leave no stone unturned. Stand aside, Outlander. 
them. Yes, Sarah? Keep My husband been built here. Let me know if you see anything you like. No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescious, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. I've always had a steady stream of work thanks to the Rhetoran Guard, so it hasn't affected me much. However, I've seen the smile on people's faces, and there's hope around here once again. Something we've been lacking for a long time. <laughs> Gods, that's rich. Work for Neloth. <laughs> Find my pickaxe yet? Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell, but I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Ravenrock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Reith, a very talented armorsmith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stalrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescious borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. Calling Stalrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. Of course. You tell Crescious he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. What are you doing that for? You've been a good friend to me. That means something. opening the ebony mines. You've brought light to the darkness, my friend. You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mines open. But all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstein crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, we can't risk any attacks on Raven. I'm perfectly content uh, with my like current the smell position. Of a white hot blade. I appreciate the help you've been giving us. I 
trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Your efforts at Ravenlock have proven most invigorating for my husband. I haven't seen him this pleased in many years. I could never leave Adra behind, and he will never leave Leryl. Besides, I'd never look for Nella. I heard he cut the heart out of his former apprentice. My husband is second counselor, so I certainly have the means to... Your contributions have earned you citizenship here, friend. I'll always consider you one of us. With the mines open, Raven Rock has become a significant colony of the Dunma people again. I've been able to convince my superiors at House Redoran to send me the resources that they've been denying now that we're deemed more important. Soon, we'll have a steady supply of workers and materials to keep things going for years to come. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Raven Rock. Be careful! Head at ease. We have all sorts of authentic dark elf food and drink here. Geldis spares no expense. Uh, you mean leave Ravenrock for good? To go work for a crazed Telvani wizard? Sure. Just let me get me things. I'm second thought, never mind. I can get new stuff. Well, I've never been one to pass up an opportunity. Sorry to run, but I'm off to my new job. If you're dealing with me, there's only one thing to remember. Pay your debts or end up hurt. I might lend coin to people that need I work for money. But I never lend this a problem. You to talk to off. him. Jazikri is a prisoner of House Therese to the east of this town. Please hurry! Welcome to the wretching Nech. Here's a bit more. Hope you're not drinking this stuff yourself. Come back if you're feeling thirsty. I'll set Jizikri you up right. is a prisoner of House Therese to the east of this town. Please hurry! Safe travels. If you're looking to purchase something, speak to my father, Fethic. At least my father will let me drink whatever I want without complaining. Tell Geldis I appreciate it. Keep yourself safe. Solstheim's still a dangerous place. My apologies for doubting you, sir. Young. I don't know who sent you here, but you've given us something to build on. I don't know what you did in those mines, but a smile on his face. Your actions here. Always a pleasure to taste anything Galdis comes up with. Next time you're hungry. For all I know, I might be the last Imperial left on Solstein. Of course! In fact, Councillor Morvan has given you the full run of the place. Help yourself to whatever you like. We're all in agreement that you're entitled to as much as you can carry. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the skull in the first place. Oh, very well. Here, tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. I've been made the foreman of the mine, thanks to everything you did down there. 
It's good to get the old nose working again. I missed sniffing out the ebony deposits and getting my hands dirty. Best of all, Aphia isn't so cross when I go down there anymore. Nice to be make. Good to know the mine's safe again. I heard a lot of strange things happened here. It's busier now. Absolutely. Here's your payment. I work for Mogul. You got a problem? Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean bug around here somewhere. Welcome to the. Here's a bit more. Hope you're not drinking this stuff yourself. You've Not brought Raven... Your, your efforts in Ravenrock have proven most invigorating for my husband. I haven't seen him this pleased in many years. My husband is second in person. You've got... Sure, got nothing better to do. But may your path be free from danger. The mines are open and the shop is busy again. Thank you. Warm drinks and warm beds. The mines open, people. Perfect. All that's left now is to go ahead and wait for the patrons to come in. As promised, here's a little something for yourself. Safe travels, Outlander. Excuse me. Stand aside. If you've got any gripes, check in at Morvay now. Second Counselor Arana will sort you. something from me Hello traveler be welcome to my guar breeding farm I'm Sendis a 300 years old guar breeder now taking the duty to raise a useful guar pack in Solstein Good question guars are reptilian creatures native to both Morrowind and Black Marsh which have been used as beasts of burden and mounts for eaters. Yes, unless provoked, because they can be vicious. Their diet consists on plants, but sometimes they eat flesh. But stay calm, your legs are safe. Oh yes it is. I saw Hecatosh banning Dagon back to oblivion. I saw Nerebarin destroying the fake gods. And now they're being an evil in the skies. Okay, young one. Azura guide you.
You want something from me? And what might you need? Hmm? Hmm? Yes. <laughs>